exactly is the building envelope? Well, according to Webster's, the building envelope is the physical separator between the interior and the exterior environments of a building. It serves as the outer shell to help maintain the indoor environment and facilitate climate control. We are here with Chris Kreppel and Jerry Jensen of Thermal Star LCI or Atlas EPS. Why are we here? What is this orange stuff? It matches your shirt. It's rigid insulation. Okay. Uh, the new uh, energy codes call for continuous insulation. And why is it called continuous insulation? Because it's outside the stud cavity. Outside the stud cavity, it's continuous insulation. Right. All across the United States and Canada, the energy codes are changing to require continuous insulation. As much as you can insulate a house, the better it's going to perform. When we look at the cost effectiveness, we really look at bang for your buck. It helps keep the indoor temperature exactly where we want it uh, for a longer period of time, which reduces the energy usage in the home because the HVAC system is not constantly running. Right. So if you want it at 72, you get it to 72, and then with the insulation system on the inside of the wall, plus the two inches of rigid foam on the outside, there's not a lot of places for that, that cool air or warm air in, inside to get out. This is the affordable, buildable, certified home. So it's got to be affordable, and I remember one of the things that we talked about is that something like this is an affordable way to add our value at a lower cost. Is that it, true? It is. R is a resistance value assigned to a different material of how long it can resist the heat going from one side of it to the other side of it. As a HERS rater, we just make sure everything is you know, insulated properly. Mm -hmm. You know, We want to get that R value as high as possible because that's what's going to keep the energy inside the house. Hi, I'm Claude Pellini. I'm with Masco Contractor Services in California. Masco's been around for over 80 years. Um, Masco really specializes primarily in manufacturing products for the home. We are an installation services company. Uh, we're a national company. Locally, we've been in business since 1963. In addition to the insulation in this home, we'll be installing garage doors, we'll be installing rain gutters, uh, we'll be installing shower doors and mirrors. There are a number of different types of insulating products. Spray foam insulation, which we're very passionate about, um, it's a product that's been around for about 25 years, but it's really starting to get some traction, primarily because of just changes in the code and building requirements. I have to say, this looks like something that not much will get by. The difference with the spray foam insulation is that in addition to the resistance to the heat, it also prevents the, the penetration of air and moisture into the home. It sounds very sciencey. I mean, it well, sounds it is, like it is, it is very sciencey. It activates instantaneously. As soon as those two parts come together at the tip of the spray gun, it hits the wall and then it starts to activate. And it'll rise to the depth that you see it in within, you know, a matter of seconds. Fiberglass insulation performs fine. It meets code, but. There are some challenges when you have plumbing, you've got obstacles in the wall. It's a little bit difficult to get the fiberglass insulation to fit around those obstacles. Because it goes on as a liquid, you can very easily fully fill the cavity. That's really what you want to avoid. You want, we want to stop the movement of air, and we want to create the resistance of heat. If builders want the very best that they can provide, um, really right now, spray foam insulation, it's really at the top. Right. Some of the things that are really unique about this home is that in normal construction, you would insulate at the ceiling. And here, instead of insulating at the ceiling, we've insulated at the roof deck. And what we've done is we've created conditioned space in the attic. So you can hang out there, you can enjoy your attic. If well, you if you think about it, in the summertime, your attic is a very hot place. Right. And normally, in the attic, you have your heating and air conditioning uh, equipment, your mechanical equipment you have your ductwork, and so it's very hard for that equipment to perform because it's in an unconditioned space. It's right. very hot up there. So by moving the insulation up to the roof deck, now we've created conditioned space in the attic. Now the mechanical equipment isn't going to have to work as hard in the summertime. It just looks cooler to have the whole thing like seafoam green. It's like insulated think, like a Mack truck. But we really like to think about the performance. I'm here with Jonathan Marengo from TAPCO from Michigan. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm excited to be here. Yeah, me too. Let's talk a little bit about cool roof. Why is it so important? That's a great question. Cool roofing really takes the heat and reflects it back off the roof. So it takes the sun's energy, reflects that radiation back off the roof, and really ends up taking your energy costs and utility costs down upwards of 15%. 
really what you're trying to do is, is make sure that the roof lasts as long as it, it can and that the cooling equipment like the air conditioning units that those have less wear and tear over time it's a composite material it's made up of both um, resin limestone which gives it its natural appearance and then it's got ir reflective pigments in it which actually that's what contributes to reflecting the heat off the roof the benefit with the limestone is it gives it a nice dull appearance like slate the product we're looking at here today is actually a composite slate product. Some of the attributes that that also gives it is a Class A fire rating, which is fantastic and very important either in commercial applications or areas like right here where they're more prone to brush fires. We do. It's one of our seasons. Fire season. We were talking a little bit about R rating. Now, does the roof factor into R rating? How does that fit in? Roofing itself doesn't have an R value, but what it does is with the pigments, it does reflect the trapped heat in the roof, and it basically takes it off the envelope of that roof. That's really important because what you want to do with a roof like this is you actually want to take that heat and reflect it back up into the atmosphere so it doesn't sink down to the building below. One of the things that most people don't understand about a roof is it's very common for it to be 60 to 80 percent warmer than the outside temperature. So you can imagine on a hundred degree day you've got a roof that could be 160 upwards of 180 degrees. We actually had a roofer uh, down in the Texas area that loves this product because he goes, I can work more of the day on the job site for one. And the other thing too is he goes, I go through a lot less soles on the bottom of my work boots because they were melting. It's a benefit to uh, you and your boots. When it reduces your utility bill by 15% every month for, it's gonna be a 50 year roof. I mean, think about the amount of money that that adds up to. That's significant. Right. With this product, you can stick it on a standard house. There's no reinforcement that needs to happen. So with a slight product, it would be heavier? Oh, much heavier. With this product, if you need to install solar panels, a satellite dish, whatever, there's not an issue getting up and walking on the roof. Most cool roofs are white or a very light color. Right. One of the things that we've been able to do with our pigments is find out a way to deliver dark colors. So we could have made this slate gray, we could have made it an evergreen, nice you said plum. plum. Yeah, plum. plum. It's a fun color. It is. People are going to warmer colors, more earth tones. If you look at a lot of the products that we offer at Tapco, color is a big part of it because we realize that people, it's their retreat. It's where they go to relax, unwind, you know, live the way that they want to live. Roofing is inspiring, which is great because it's actually called Inspired Roofing. I have the gentleman from Peterson Dean. How are you guys? You're welcome. I have Gary Zanella and Dan Nichols. Peterson Dean has been a roofing contractor since uh, 1984, so 28 years. As a roofing and solar contractor, the commitment to, to green energy, building green energy solutions, and the way you know the market's going, especially with solar, it just seemed like something that I wanted to be involved in. We like to consider us, ourselves a one-stop shop where you could call, and if it's from the eve up, we can handle anything that uh, comes our way. You get several, several trades, several categories with one company. You know, the roofing, sheet metal, solar, you know, if it's on the roof, above the roof line, Peterson Dean will take care of it. You mentioned that combining solar and the roof at the same time, you don't have to have double warranties. You can have it all in one, which seems like a great, a great opportunity for both the builder and the homeowner. We're on the roof, you know, we're making it waterproof. And then, of course, the solar, in a lot of cases, has to penetrate the roof, so we'll be the one flashing it. It's one warranty. There's one contractor for the builder to call. They come to Peterson Dean. This is like the core, right? Like, if you're still here, if you're still standing, you've been around since 1985, you're not going anywhere. Am I right? We weathered the storm. Everybody weathered Absolutely. the storm. Absolutely.